What are you inhaling when you smoke a cigarette? Toxic chemicals are usually indicated on a tobacco package. One of the main ingredients, nicotine, acts on the central and the sympathetic nervous systems, which creates both stimulating and sedating effects on smokers. But nicotine is also addictive, and long-term exposure can cause cardiovascular diseases. However, nicotine is far less harmful compared to the other two ingredients. Incomplete combustion of tobacco can produce carbon monoxide and tar. Carbon monoxide replaces oxygen red blood cells, increases cholesterol level, and even accelerates atherosclerosis. Moreover, at least 69 chemicals contained in tar, such as nitrosamines, heterocyclicamines, naphthalamines, and benzopyrenes, are known to cause cancer. Apparently, the pleasure derived from nicotine is not worth the health risks imposed by carbon monoxide and tar. Therefore, the first solution was to reduce the level of tar. In 1983, the average amount of tar per cigarette was as high as 27.3 milligrams in China. By 2013, the State Tobacco Monopoly Bureau stipulated that the amount should not exceed 11 milligrams. Today, you can easily purchase 1 milligram low tar cigarettes. Now the question is, what is the method of measurement? China adopts the old ISO method invented 50 years ago by using smoking machines to determine the amount of tar contained in the cigarette smoke. The cigarette is first mounted in the puffing hole of the smoking machine. Each puff happens once every minute with a duration of 2 seconds and a puff volume of 35 milliliters until the cigarette is finished. The chemicals contained in the smoke are thus collected on a filter and the amount of tar can be determined by solvent extraction. However, the puff frequency of the smoking machine is obviously much less than that of a real smoker, and the result can also be easily manipulated. Many brands of cigarettes are designed with filter ventilation holes, which mix with external air when puffing, reducing the amount of inhaled smoke. However, in reality, smokers often block the ventilation holes with lips or fingers, rendering them ineffective. The tar level readings are also lower in this situation. So how much does the result following ISO guidelines differ from the reality? Think Tank Research Center for Health Development made an experiment to compare the ISO protocol and the Health Canada Intense protocol, the latter which more closely mimics the smoker's puffing patterns by using a puff frequency of 30 seconds, a puff duration of 2 seconds, and a puff volume of 55 milliliters. For the same cigarette which claimed to contain 1 mg of tar, the HCI reading is 4.4 times that with the ISO method, 8.7 times when the ventilation holes are half blocked, and 22.4 times when the ventilation holes are entirely blocked. Therefore, WHO issued a statement in 2013 and indicated that the tar level readings with ISO method are misleading. People tend to smoke more when the taste is light, so there's not much difference between a low tar cigarette and a high tar cigarette in terms of cancer risks. Some Chinese companies took a different approach by using Chinese herbal medicines in the tobacco to mitigate their health risks, such as aphrodisiac cigarettes containing epimedium, long nourishing cigarettes with low quantity fertility blasts, and wellness cigarettes containing poor tea leaves. However, none of them have been proven to be effective in clinical tests. In fact, only a zero tar cigarette can reduce health risks to a meaningful extent. But tar is inevitable in tobacco combustion, so nicotine extraction and purification are the new solution. Today, nicotine can be synthesized directly in laboratories. The highly purified nicotine can be used in the production of patches, chewing gum, and e-cigarettes, all of which alleviate the smoker's addiction to the substance itself. Compared to the former two uses, e-cigarettes produce aerosol, making it more acceptable as an alternative to traditional cigarettes. The liquid formulations in e-cigarettes are quite simple. Nicotine, propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, and flavoring essence. Propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin are both considered safe food additives, which are used as solvent for nicotine and flavoring essence. When being used, the heating wires of the e-cigarettes are heated up to 200 to 300 degrees Celsius, vaporizing the liquid formulations and eventually turning them into aerosol through an atomizer. It's worth noting that the nicotine contained in e-cigarettes is so harmful to health, but according to the experiment results by the UK Department of Health, after puffing 16 packages of cigarettes into the air jar, the cotton fibers in the tubes are covered with dark tar. But with the other jar with e-cigarettes, the cottons only slightly change color. 
Their research has shown that e-cigarettes, free of carbon monoxide and tar, are 95% less harmful than tobacco. Mochi is an e-cigarette brand that offers more than 10 assorted flavors, ranging from tobacco and mint flavors to fruity and green tea tastes. Each cartridge provides at least 650 puffs, while Mojo disposable e-cigarettes provide at least 200 puffs. In terms of liquid formulations, unlike ionized nicotine base contained in tobacco, we use neutralized nicotine salt, which is milder and less irritating. Moti and Mojo will help you gradually alleviate your addiction to nicotine and get rid of traditional tobacco as soon as possible. You're not just doing it for yourself, but also for your cat. Research has shown that cats exposed to secondhand smoke are subject to lymphoma risks 200% higher than their counterparts. So, cigarettes are adorable cats? It's your pick.